G'day everybody, welcome back to Munich, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've covered an U-Bahn station, this will change today. I'm here at the Nordfriedhof, which is a pretty unique U-Bahn station. That's why I was pretty sure I have covered it already, but I just looked it up, I haven't. This will change today. So, let's have a look at the U-Bahn station here at the Nordfriedhof, which is the Northern Cemetery. Yeah, Munich has a lot of cemeteries. Some are pretty big, like this one you see over there. It has a beautiful chapel and everything you need, but it also has the station and let's have a look at it now. Nordfriedhof, the U6, calls the station home, goes here every 10 minutes per direction. Further in the inner city, the U6 goes every 5 minutes. Okay, reached the so-called mezzanine level. Not too much going on, which is pretty good for me. Let's go down to the platform, because this platform is pretty unique. You will see it in a second. First of all, we do have ticket machines here. We do have here the maps of the area, maps of the system. And you can already see the blue stripe, which is the clear sign of the U6. Again, we have no ceiling in place, which is also pretty common among U-Bahn stations in Munich. And here comes the unique part. To the right, Klinikum Großhadern. To the left, Garching Forschungszentrum. This station has two platforms. Two tracks in the middle, which is a very, very unique feature among Munich U-Bahn stations. I know only one other that has the same setup. It's the Richard Strauss Straße in the northwest, sorry, northeast in Bogenhausen. It looks pretty similar to this station, not as old maybe. But yeah, basically the same setup. And I have absolutely no idea why the station is set up like this. And haha, <laughs> once again, this chance. Hello everybody. Welcome to the station. Let's have a look around. As mentioned, I have no idea why the station looks like this. And all the other stations have a platform in the middle and two tracks on both sides. Ah, anyway, the walls. Still the original from 1971. This station was among the first ones to be opened in the system of the Munich U-Bahn, Nordfriedhof. <coughs> we have some seating arrangement here. We do have more maps and there is some construction going on. Don't know what they're doing there. Maybe just storing some equipment, I have no idea. But what is the uniqueness of the station as the train is pulling in now is two tracks in the middle, one platform to the right, one platform to the left. We will talk about it a little further when the train is pulled out again. Okay, train is moving out. The train on the other direction is ju has just arrived as well. We'll pull out in a second too. Then we should have time to have a closer look at the station. And yeah, I already mentioned these poles in the middle that separate the two tracks. This is absolutely unique. Two platforms, of course, requires two elevators. One here on the other side and one right here. They're both going to the mezzanine level right here on this yellow uh, piece of iron. There are also stairs in place, of course, here to the left service pattern yeah normally every 10 minutes now there's another train going to Fredmanning. don't know where that comes from normally the trains of the five minute tact of the u6 they terminate at münchner freiheit maybe they have extended it up to Fredmanning. i have no idea so then there's five minute service which is pretty good per direction of course yeah interesting station the lighting, pretty basic. The ceiling, yeah, look at it by yourself. I don't know what's going on with the ceiling in U-Bahn stations here in Munich. I've done my mirror shot already. Now let's get out of here. By this wall, this light blue and dark blue. This looks not too bad regarding it's from 1971. mezzanine level 
with uh, more ticket machines. There's this booth that's not used anymore. Used to be service per personnel here, used to be a ticket uh, office, maybe even here. Instead of that, we only have these ticket machines left. We do have more maps and this exit. Now, let's use it. Up here, typical 1971 exit area. The blue stripe, the gates, the gray concrete, and the blue covering along the escalator that goes out of here. Exiting now here on the southern side. As well, no ceiling in place. The cables are open. And we are out of the Nordfriedhof. Here in the borough of yeah, it's the border of the borough of Schwabing. It's a beautiful area. Let's see if I do a walk here now. I just wanted to do something else, but let's see. Anyway, we are out of the U-Bahn station. I hope you enjoyed this unique feature of the U-Bahn history here in Munich. A station with two platforms and two tracks in the middle. We do not have that that often, as mentioned. But that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon back in Munich underground. Until then, have a good time. Goodbye.